G'day Nigel McGill here from Sax School. I want to show you some tips today on getting the altissimo G on the alto saxophone. Now this is a, the first note of the altissimo range or the third register of the saxophone and uh, you know a lot of people struggle with getting this note because it is the first note of that range but if you can crack that first note, if you can crack that high G it opens up a whole nother range on the saxophone because there's a whole well there's nearly an octave of notes above that that you can play around with. So, how do you get started with it? There's lots of things you can do uh, with practicing overtones and uh, various uh, techniques like that, but today what I want to show you is just a little technique for moving with your fingers to go from one note to the next to help you get that note out. So, first of all, we're going to backtrack a little bit and we're going to look at the palm keys and using side fingerings on the, uh, on the, for the high notes D, E and F. Um, you probably already know these, but you, this is a good way to get from that note up to the high G. This is what I'm talking about. Well, first of all, there's only one way to play high D um, and high E flat. We've got the two palm keys. But for high E, we normally use the two side keys here uh, and then the top key on the side. But the alternative way for that is to use the front E where we're using the same as if we're playing high G with that octave key at the back but we move our first finger up onto the front F key. Okay, so we've got our G finger, our A finger, and our B finger is up on the F key. We've still got our octave key on the back, and that's also high E. So if we go between those two, slightly different sound, but that's a really useful fingering, and we'll come to that in a second. So high E, um, now from there, we can also, if we lift up our G finger, we'll get front F, right? I'm sure most of you know that already. Instead of playing the one, two, three on the side and the top key here and our octave key, which is also F. Okay, so we know our front E and our front F fingering. Now, if we go back to that front E fingering, uh, I'm going to show you how to go from that to high G. So first of all, here's the fingering for high G, okay? Now this is a bit of a tricky fingering, so you need to take your time working without blowing, just working on your fingers, getting them moving nice and smoothly. High G, this, now there's multiple fingerings for it, but this is one of them. Octave key on the back, first finger, third finger, third finger, first finger, down here, third finger, down here, and the bottom side key, like your B flat key, okay? So once again, we've got the first finger, our third finger of our left hand, and our octave key. On our right hand, we've got our first finger, and our third finger. And we've also got the B flat key, which we're playing with the side of our finger down here. Okay? All right, so that's a bit of a weird fingering. One and three, one and three of the side key, and the octave key. But it's easier to get that note if we go from the front E fingering. So remember that's G finger, A finger, and the front F, and the octave key. So just for a second, try without blowing, just try your fingers going from that front E to high G. Okay, front E, and then back to high, up to high G. So with my B finger, you'll notice here that I'm sort of rolling that finger. So from up here for the E, just rolling it back down there for the G. Okay, so one more time, high E, and then high G. Now, let's have a go at playing it. And what I want you to do is keep everything really firm. Keep your embouchure firm, keep your throat nice and open like that, like you're having a yawn. Lots of air support, so push your air through from down here at the bottom of your lungs, and um, really try and get a good, steady column of air up into the saxophone. It should sound like this, so high E. Now I'm actually not changing anything inside my mouth when I'm make, making the change from E to G. I'm just keeping everything nice and solid, nice and firm, I'm not biting. Just keeping my mouth, my embouchure nice and firm, keeping my throat open, keeping lots of air blowing out. So the trick with this really is to go very, very slowly. Start by getting a good solid note on that high E. The best sound you can. Really nice and big open sound. 
and then moving all of your fingers together, going up to that high G. And that's really the key, you've got to move your fingers together. Uh, so sometimes it takes a little bit more practice before you start blowing, just coordinating your fingers. You can even try playing in front of a mirror or moving your fingers in front of a mirror to make sure you're moving everything together. So if you're feeling comfortable with that one, you might want to try F to A. Do you want me to show you that one really quickly? So front F, we, we talked about that before. C finger and our F key here. High A, and remember there's multiple fingerings for these notes, but these are good, the ones I'm showing you today are good solid fingerings that should definitely work on your horn. F to A. Now here's the finger for high A. Octave key at the back. Two, three, or our A finger and our G finger on our left hand. And then all three fingers on our right hand, okay? So once again, high F, C finger, F finger, octave key, to high A. So just try practicing that with me. F to A, F to A, coordinating all those fingers together. F, A, F, A. Right, same thing, let's try playing it. Keep everything really nice and firm, lots of air support. Okay, cool. So if you can conquer those two notes, the high G and then the high A, man, you're sorted. You're well and truly on your way to getting a good strong altissimo range on your saxophone. But be patient with it. It does take a bit of time. And like I was saying at the start of the lesson, they, these are some of the trickier notes to get on the saxophone. And most people find it difficult at the start. But with a bit of practice, a bit of focus on it, you'll be able to do it. If you've enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to check out the other lessons at saxschool.com. I've got a whole range of lessons in there, about 120 something now. Uh, and they cover all aspects of playing the saxophone, getting started, learning about improvising, learning some really great classic jazz and pop tunes, and um, a bunch of classic solos as well. So loads of fun to work through. Good luck with the saxophone journey. Keep practicing hard. I'll see you next time.